What's the deal YouTube? It's your boy Mesto Caleb and welcome back to another banger video. Today I'm going to be installing a BBK cold air induction system aka BBK cold air intake. So this intake has been one of my favorite and most wanted products that I wanted to put on my car and today I'm going to be doing that myself. Right now we got my boy Kyle right here. This is Kyle working hard. This is Kyle working hard. Right now he's watching my parents' 2020 Honda Accord Sport. And this thing looks beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Look at this. He just started on it and this car is beautiful. And still they won't even let me drive it. So here you go. 2020 Honda Accord Sport. And Mezzo can't even drive it for you for the videos. So all I can tell you guys right now is that I'm super, super excited for this video and I'm super lit because this video is going to be a very, 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 very knowledgeable video. So for those who don't know what a cold air intake does, it feeds cold air, it takes in air. So it takes in cold air, feeds it into the throttle body and it feeds it into the engine to keep it cool while you're running fast, you know what I'm saying, while you zoom, zooming. But this cold air intake is not gonna add a ton of power so for those out there who saying that oh it has 25 horsepower 20 horsepower no you're gonna expect gains from 5 to 10 maybe so I would say the high the high single digits or the low double digits um, expect that so if you pair it with a tune it will perform to the best of its abilities but I am not tuning this car today right now we're just gonna put in this cold air intake and I have a set of spark plug wires so I got a new coil kit coming with that so everything coming for this video i'm extremely extremely excited so for those of you watching the mezzo crew make sure you do smash that like button join the mezzo crew and subscribe because you know what i'm saying i need to hit the algorithm i need y'all to subscribe you know what i'm saying so go ahead and do that for me <laughs> go ahead smash that like button get ready for this banger it's your boy mezzo caleb and let's roll that intro hey, All right guys, so look, the time is now. My mom finished getting her car washed, so now it's time to tackle the Mesomobile and get some work done. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the stock intake system on this S197 V6 Mustang. So here we go, we have the factory air box and then we have our factory intake too. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take all of this lovely stuff off and then we're gonna bolt on the BBK cold air intake system with the air filter right there. I don't know what happened on the floor, but yeah. So that's everything that we're gonna have set up here. First things first, we gotta tackle is time. We gotta let the car cool down because it is hot, it is steamy, it is on fire. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're gonna take care of that, and then after we finish the intake, I'm gonna go ahead and you know give it a few revs. You know what I'm saying? Let y'all see what it do to do. And then after we do that, then we're going to change the spark plug wires. That way we have a nice spark going into our combustion chamber when we are on the road. Because tomorrow we got a road trip. So, um, I'll catch y'all as soon as this cools down. And then we're going to go ahead and start tackling the first step, which is unbolting everything. But remember guys, when you are taking off your cold air intake and you're going to go ahead and do some mods, make sure you take off the negative, uh, what do you call it? The negative, uh... Negative terminal. There we go. I had a brain fart. The negative terminal to your battery because you will get a check engine like like I did the last time. I do have to go ahead and tell you guys that the first time that I did my cold air intake, I did not post the video. Um, the problem was the inlet tube for the mass airflow sensor on this side had a, like a really huge gap in it, so air was seeping out. It was causing some problems with that. Also, I changed out my spark plugs as well, and then I had some new spark plug wires on there as well. And that went wrong. It was farting, it sounded like popcorn, it was just awful. We changed that, we put the stock wires back on, and then we put the stock intake back on. It's still hot, trust me, I touched it. But um, yeah, so that went wrong, the intake had a gap in it, so it was just like the worst day to mod the Mustang. So um, I got new parts, I got new wires, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and tackle this today. So now that you guys are up to speed, you know what's going on, you know what to expect, and we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna catch you guys in about 15, 20 minutes. Let's get it.
All right guys, so look, we took out the factory air box and the factory intake tube, and we are, right now, currently, we're disconnecting the MAF sensor, and we're gonna get ready to install the new one. So, this is what it looks like. It's so spacious. Look at that, it's so beautiful. I could've got a, a, the actual cold air intake, the one that I can reroute all the way down here to the fender, but I don't think I have enough space for that one because the tubing would probably be too big. So, um, we're gonna stick with a short ram because this one's considered short ram, right? It's like in between. It's, it's colder intake for like the minimum. Yeah. Cause like, the, I could get it rerouted though, huh? Colder intakes that go all the way down here. Yeah. A ram is just, your ram would come out and stop by your foot. Yeah, like the short ram would be like the little curvy, little stubby looking one. It looked like a little snail. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. And then we might have a new throttle body coming soon. So guys, stay tuned for that one. So we got the mass airflow sensor right here. Kyle's taking care of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and after, as soon as he gets that bolster on, then we're gonna go ahead and get everything hooked up to the throttle body. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the heat shield ready. That way, cause that is, I'm not even gonna lie, a pain in the So. Okay guys, so look, we had to, we had a little bit of back, back I don't know what to call it, it was like a, uh, what are you, a setback? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but we kind of sidestepped yeah, that shit. Like, Alright, so look, basically, me. the screw that goes in the, snapped. It, it snapped on the map sensor. So let me see if it'll focus, turn it towards the light. So we wrapped it, so this screw right here, we need a, what is it, T10? T20. T20. We need a T20 torque, uh, torque screw, and it snapped right here and so so we put yeah so we use electrical tape we went to walmart and, look, and it, you can't even tell even noticeable. Uh, don't roast me in the comments though they can be like this is why he got a v6 <laughs> <laughs> can't even tell i think i, I yeah, kind of like the stripe because like, like when we put I the like heat that. shield on it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna like kind like of right cut here. off yeah yeah you, you can't, yeah, you can't you know even know what i'm saying we did that we did that so yeah at this moment hold on we got a little bit of chick-fil-a on lip so basically at this point, we're gonna go ahead and start installing the cold air intake and we're gonna see if we can get this right. So, pray for your boy Mezzo and stay tuned for the finished product. And then we'll give you a few revs and test drive and all that good stuff, so stay tuned. I love you guys. And here we are announcing the brand new BBK Mezzo Mobile cold air. Look at that. Cold air intake, here we go. So here it is, bada bing, bada boom. After a little bit of fighting, and tussling, and rustling, and more rustling, more tussling, <laughs> we got it. The biggest trouble we had was making sure everything was aligned, because if you can see from this angle, it looked a little crooked beforehand, like right about here. So we fixed everything, got it straightened up. Got the heat shield on there, which was a pain, because it didn't want to work with us. And then, Bada bing, bada boom. So now, last thing is to fire it up to make sure everything <laughs> works. Fingers crossed, man. Toes crossed and everything. Here we go, guys. Step outside, I'll rev it for you. Ha, ha, ha. We did it, baby. Hold on, here we go. Go for it. It's a, it's so much louder. Oh my goodness. Perfect. Yo, did that. Oh my God, this is insane. It sounds so much louder. Oh my goodness, guys. And this, here we have it. This is the BBK Cutter intake for those who don't know. It's on the Mesomobile, man. Look at the Mesomobile. She looks so much more prettier. Look at that. She's just smiling at me with her new cold air intake. Look at that. Engine bay looks kind of cool. Yep, yep, yep. Put some color to it. Nice chrome touch with a little bit of blue. But yeah, we have the spark plug wires to take care of, but we're not gonna do that on camera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because it has been real, it has been tough, and it's been rough. <laughs>